Hello little buns, it is Steph, welcome back to my home. I have something a little bit less delicate and lovely for you today, so I wanna tell you the story about a time I almost beat a man up. It's gonna be a good time, it's gonna be great. Before you start thinking that maybe it had something to do with the transphobe, or maybe I was like jumped by a man or something, that's not what happened. I jumped the man, I attacked the man. That's what's gonna happen, I'm gonna tell you all about it. All right, are you ready to hear from me? Are you ready for it? I hope you're ready, because I'm gonna tell you about when I almost jumped a man. So this happened happened relatively early in my transition. I don't even know if I actually started transitioning yet or not. I honestly can't remember, but it was the summertime, okay? And I was at work. I used to work at a makeup counter, and I was there with my friend, and she was lovely. Let's gonna, we're gonna call her like, we're gonna call her Georgia. Her name was Georgia, all right? That's not her name, but we're gonna call her Georgia. And Georgia and I were talking, and we like to keep up with each other, you know? We were like, we were like, we were tight like this, okay? We were tight. And she was telling me about some trouble she was having because she's having to move now. And I asked her, you know, like, why, why do you have to move? And she said, well, I was living in my boyfriend's building, but we broke up. And I was like, oh, shit. And it's not like she lived in the same building as her boyfriend. It's like the boyfriend's dad owned the building. So this guy was going to be a dick about it, right? Basically, this guy had been harassing her and been like, oh, wait, why don't we talk? Like, we can get back together. Like, I love you. I still love you and all this shit. And it's like, dude, stop. Quit it. Like, what are you doing? This is not, this is not what we want, okay? Like, if we break up with you, we want you to stop contacting us, thanks. So anyway, Georgia was having trouble with this ex-boyfriend harassing her about, like, getting back together in her building where she was living because his dad owned the building and then he was, like, therefore entitled to going to her door and harassing her or something. It was a bunch of shit, right? So we were working, we were cleaning up and everything. We were, like, dusting and tidying and filling our lanes and stuff, right? And she looked at me and she's like, I think I just saw him. She thinks she just saw her ex-boyfriend who was harassing her at the place of work where I was employed, where she was at. Therefore, you know, common sense is going to lead me to believe that maybe he's come here to harass her at work. And I was like, this is not going to happen. Not when I'm around. This is not going to happen when I'm here because I cannot tolerate it. Five minutes later, this guy comes up and I'm like, he looks kind of shifty. He's wearing like, like a, like a Bob's Food Basics uniform. And I'm like, that's interesting. Like, why are you wearing that? Like here, like, what are you doing? And I, you know, maybe he was coming to pick up some cologne on his, his break or something. I wasn't judging him. I was just like, that's interesting. Like I made note of it, okay? I made note of this guy in the Bob's Basics, Bob's Food Basics uniform. For those of you outside of Canada, Bob's Food Basics is like a grocery store. So I made note of this guy. I'm like, that's kind of weird. And then I see him approach her and I'm like, hmm, this wouldn't be that person. She's surely got higher standards than this guy. And I'm not talking about his uniform. Like I don't care where he works. I can't, like this guy did not. He was like, this woman is beautiful. She's like Kim Kardashian level gorgeous. And this guy was just looking kind of strange to me and I'm like this doesn't really add up to me I wasn't comfortable with this anyway it was not I wasn't looking at this like hmm what a cute couple I was like this guy looks like he's gonna harass her and I was right because it was the ex-boyfriend he had come to my place of work to harass my friend and I was not gonna have it I was like no 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 so I looked I was watching for a second and I was like hmm that's surely not him he doesn't have the balls to come up in my place of work and to harass my friend, right? So I just kind of get closer, I get a little bit closer. I'm like, I'm just gonna listen. I'm gonna listen, I'm gonna listen. And if I hear him say anything remotely like, please, or baby, or like, I don't know, like, ugh, like then I'd be like, hey dude, like you gotta go, bruh, like you gotta go. <sighs> so I get a little bit closer and I'm listening and like, uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm deaf in one ear, so I'm like listening, I'm like, hi. Hi. Like, I'm not being subtle about it. I'm like looking at him and everything. I'm like, mm, what are you talking about, right? And then I hear him say like, please, please, please. And I'm like, oh no. So I go up to him and I'm like, sir, if she's telling you to leave her alone, you need to leave her alone. You don't get to just be in tight. You don't get to just talk to her when she's like, leave me alone. Cause she was saying that too. She was like, just leave me alone. And I'm like, ah, ha, 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 ha. leave her alone. And he was like, it's none of your business. And I'm like, it is my business because this is where I work. You are, you gotta go, you gotta go, buddy. Like, I kicked him out of the store, right? I was like, you gotta go, you're leaving. Bye, bye. And he was like, mm, I'm not gonna leave. So I took a step, I was like, you're leaving, okay? You're leaving. And he was like, fine. And he looked mildly intimidated, and I don't know why, because I'm like a five foot two, like, I don't know, it's fine. Anyway, so he was like, he was like looking behind him as he was leaving like this, and I was like, uh-uh, you're not gonna like watch and see when I leave so you can go harass her again. So I started following him. I was like, you're leaving now, the door's that way. We're going that way, buddy, the door's over there. And he was like, ooh, he was like running a little bit faster, right? And then the shit hits the fan. So you bet your ass that this straight man, he turns, he turns around and he's like, you have no authority to kick me out. Uh, I'm just gonna keep going, I'm gonna come back. 
So he like takes a step. He takes a step forward. I'm like, sir, you have to stop. You have to leave. Okay, I was not having this man come in and harass my friend. I was not having it. There was no security in the store, by the way. No security. So I'm all by my little self, me and this other girl, with this creepy ass man being like, I'm gonna come in the store. And I'm like, ah, 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 ah. So he takes a step forward, and I'm like, you have to stop. And I take my hand and I put it on his chest. And then he gets like kind of aggressive in his demeanor. He's like, excuse me. He's like, I'm a man. Um, this is what men do, right? They go like, oh, my man. Is that what they do? I don't know. Can you tell me? He was like being aggressive and stuff, and I was like, I'm not having it. So I, I kind of like nudge him back. I'm like, uh-uh, uh-uh. Not with one hand, mind you. And he's like pretty light, so he just kind of goes like, like he kind of, he kind of has a lunge. And he tried again. He tried again to come in the store, and I was like, two hands this time. I'm like, two hands this time, or whatever. What's that song? Can you guys tell me? Anyway, I like push him. I'm like, you gotta leave. And I, I know I probably should not have put my hands on this man, but I was not. I was like, the, the adrenaline in my blood was like so intense. I was shaking. I was shaking, my voice was shaking. I was like, you have to leave, right? But like, I was probably a little bit more composed than that, probably. So anyway, this man, I push him, and he's like, fine. And he leaves. And I follow him on the street. So I, I, I follow him onto the street, and I watch him, and I wave goodbye as he leaves. I'm like, goodbye. It was cute, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, I waved goodbye to him sweetly as this harasser left my place of work. So that's what happened. That's when I almost got into a fist fight with a man. That's when I almost beat a man up. That's when I almost jumped a man, okay? That's what happened. I hope you enjoyed this story. If you want to see more from me, you can click on the annotation down here to go see more of my content or the description box. There will be a link to my channel. And I encourage you to look at the other stories on this channel because there's going to be some great stories here by like Miles J and by like Will Shepard and by a bunch of other cool creators. So please take your time. Indulge in the stories being told here. Indulge. And I'll see you again very soon. Okay, thank you so much. I love you. Bye.